Okay, let's start. Today I'm gonna to talk about the object tracking using cover-based algorithm. Let's first look at the topic I have covered in my project. First, I want to talk about object tracking category, and then I will talk about cover-based algorithm. Then one of such algorithms I pay more attention in my project uh, will be introduced uh, as an example. Also, I will cover the procedure of object tracking using uh, another fast uh, tracking example, which is uh, similar to CamShift algorithm. To see how do we use the algorithm to, for the real-time object tracking. At last, I will cover some algorithm evaluation and the future work. Firstly, I want to give an overview of object tracking. Object tracking is an important task within the field of computer vision. It mainly focuses on locating a moving object but over time using a camera or other, uh, other hardware. Uh, the concept is easy, it's easy to understand, but the implementation is challenging. The reason is that it integrates many techniques such as clustering and Im image segmentation. Also, some recognition techniques are related to the, uh, to the object tracking technique. Secondly, it has a variety of use. So, uh, based on different situations, the choice of algorithm and method of implementation must be different. We can see some of the area object tracking used here. See a uh, human computer interaction, a uh, video communication, and so on and so forth. Here's some example of application area. Uh, the laptop picture is soccer game. Uh, we can find that all the players are enclosed by a rectangle. So this is the comes from the object tracking. So we, uh, when we want to pay more attention to one or, se or several players, human tracking can help us track their movement if we may not catch the pace of the game. Here, the right top uh, picture shows the robot soccer. In this case, object tracking is used for robots to see where the ball is, so it can de uh, then determine where to move. So the left bottom uh, picture is the behavior tracking. So uh, when we develop some virtual things such as movies and games, we use such techniques to make our movie more real. Here is the uh, traffic control. It is widely used, uh, so I will not talk more about this. Let's see the categories of object tracking. Basically, object tracking can be divided into three categories. So point tracking, kernel tracking, and the silhouette tracking. Uh, the first one focused on matching the points. And the kernel tracking pay attention on the center, uh, center position of objects. And the last one, uh, the silhouette tracking pay uh, pay attention to the counter of the, uh, of the object as the uh, as the attribute. Uh, here we can see some cover based algorithm. The particle particle filter, the mean shift and some of the other algorithms, such as the EM algorithm, which improve the mean shift. Uh, all these algorithms are based on cover information, so uh, which is also uh, used in my project. Uh, also, there are some other informations, for example, geometric information, uh, which can be obtained by some signal, but, but not the uh, image of uh, processing. But uh, the color information is a robust representation. So the algorithms based on color information usually have good performance. Okay, let's see one example. 
the camp shift algorithm, which is a typical color based algorithm. It has performance and robust proper, uh, property. Although it has some, de some defect, it is widely used in computer vision area, especially in physical recognition area. Uh, in the ca at category part, I have mentioned that the camp shift is a kernel based uh, algorithm. So now I can, we can see how it works uh, to get the a central, po central position and update the size of search window use the, these functions. Uh, these functions uh, is used in order to compute the central position value. The x value can be computed by the d0 0 divided by uh, d10 divided by z0 0, and y value can be calculated by z01 divided by z0 0. Here is another example. Uh, this algorithm is similar to camp shift algorithm, but uh, uh, some functions are different. Uh, the main different part is here, the threshold filter. Uh, the former two, uh, the, the first two uh, part is the same, uh, since we should use the cover information. And the different part here is uh, the threshold filter, and then we need to find the counter uh, as the feature of the object. Uh, the code here is based on the OpenCV library, uh, library which is the open source library from uh, for computer vision. Uh, okay, uh, then I can run this code using Xcode in my Mac. Uh, this demo consists of seven parts which is here, uh, the input, the uh, transform RGB to HSV, the threshold filter, noise elimination, finding counter, uh, size check, and output. Uh, as long as the as, as HSV attribute remains the same, Using this algorithm, we can always track the object since we can always find the counter. But there are always some noise in, in the image, so we should first do the noise elimination using arrow and the dilate function provided by the OpenCV library. Okay, let's see the demo. This is the HSV image, uh, and this is the threshold image and the original image. I, I'm showing my hand, and you can, you can see the difference uh, between those three images. Now I can you can see there's a circle on my hand here. This algorithm has defect. Uh, so we know that the tracking process doesn't work very well. Okay, let's close the code and try the camp shift demo. This code we can see uh, performance a little better. We we can choose the object uh, as we want. 
uh, in the former algorithm, we can't choose the object. We can just adjust the, the HSV value to, uh, to to choose the object which okay, which is not convenient. Okay, I, here I also choose my hand. You can see a right circle on my on my hand, and it's better than the former one. But it can it also has defective. See, if I move fast, the algorithm can cannot catch the catch the pace. Okay, I will close them. After the demo, uh, we can gather these results. The right top picture, uh, we didn't see this picture before. Uh, this, uh, this image is the image that uh, before the noise, point, uh, noise elimination. Uh, we can use this picture to, uh, for the object tracking, but it is very hard. So as we said, The counter demo has bad uh, performance. Uh, the reason is that it doesn't refer any information from former uh, frame or adjacent frame. It just locates after new frame come. So sometimes it will last. Uh, also, the cam shift algorithm depends on uh, depends on the static distribution. So. Uh, just I, I wave my hand fast, it doesn't catch the pace. So these problems can be fixed by other techniques, such as different frame and geometric information. There are some papers about using frame difference to handle the change, the change problem uh, of cam shift algorithm. So we, uh, we see here it used uh, the gray degree and grass of space-time in picking up movement information. Also, we can combine the geometric information and color information uh, to get better performance. And these are the, some, these are the current study area and uh, they are also the future work we need to do. Uh, to sum up, uh, object tracking is an important technique in computer vision, mainly focused on tracking the movement. And uh, it can be divided into three kinds. Uh, we see the what is the color-based algorithm and see two demos and know how to track object in real time. Then at last uh, we evaluate such algorithms and see the future works to see what needs to do better. So basically, it, this is pretty much I want to cover in this project. Thank you.